So for this molecule, what you have to recognize is that um, the NH4 has a plus charge and the Cl has a minus charge. So what does this do to your Lewis structure? Well, that means that you don't actually have a bond between this and this. So because you don't have a bond, um, that makes it easier. And so you have N and then the four H's bonded to it. And then Cl minus, you have um, just a negative charge on it, uh, fulfilling the octet. So let's see why the this has a positive charge and this has a negative charge. So when we calculate formal charge um, for nitrogen, nitrogen is a group 5 element. That means that we'll put a 5 there and then count the bonds. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So 5 minus 4 is 1, right? And that's why it has a plus charge. Over here, um, chlorine is a group 7 element. So we'll put a 7 minus and then we'll count the number of bonds or the or uh, electrons. So um, since there's no bonds, we'll just count the electrons. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 7 minus 8 is negative 1. So um, that's why chlorine has a negative charge and NH4 has a plus charge. So the main thing to take away is um, always check to make sure um, if, uh, if, there, if there's any ionic bonding going on. Because since they're not sharing electrons, this would actually be an ionic bond because it's an attraction between the positive and negative charges. So always check that because otherwise if you try to um, create something, create a bond between them, it won't work out. So always check for that. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.